All right, this is gonna be a quick one. This is a 2010 Dodge Avenger 2.4 liter engine, and I got called out because it cranks, but it doesn't start. All right, so we've got an RPM signal right here. Now, this customer originally called me and he wanted to change his crank sensor or his cam sensor. He didn't know which one, but he said that he had already changed one of them and he had a code for one of the sensors and that's why he wanted to change it. I told him I would change the sensor, no guarantee that it was gonna fix the car. So I offered a diagnostic. Smart man said yes, I checked it out and this is what I found. First thing I did was scan it for codes and I had four codes in memory. So it's uh, bank one, cam one, bank one, cam two, circuit low circuit open so it's something electrical so because they're all circuit trouble codes indicating that we have a low voltage or an open circuit i went after the fuses first on a ground side controlled solenoid and open in that circuit is going to give you low voltage at the pcm and you're going to get a trouble code for that you know hector i have a son who's really a mechanical engineer yeah but uh, of course he doesn't have time to he works on everything but as, as a hobby not as so i, I called him this morning i saw him have this problem he said daddy i'm short and he helped me, he said, no, I'm very busy right now. He was far away from the end. So he said, I bet you that don't change nothing. I'm telling you from now. You That's why I told you, don't change your crank sensor because yeah. it might not be it. So yeah. Don't change anything. Go get an electrician, especially for the cars, and he will find out the problem for you. Yep. yep. That's a direct short right there. Yep. All right. All right, so this is the diagram for the engine controls and our fuse that keeps popping is this fuse 26 15 amps right here that fuse goes down and feeds this brown yellow wire and it splits off this way to the right and if we have the partial zero emissions vehicle it'll split down this way to the left but we don't have this all right so fuse 26 15 amps comes over here and it feeds both of our cam actuators and it also feeds our four fuel injectors so we either have a short in one of the injectors on one of the actuators or somewhere in the harness on this brown yellow wire. When that fuse pops, the injectors no longer have battery voltage, so they never spray fuel. And this is where the car doesn't start. So let's go back to the car and let me show you what I found. Okay, so you, you might say I got lucky on this one, but I found the short with a simple visual inspection by removing the engine cover. There was a wire right here on the corner of the valve cover that was pinched, and that right there was causing the fuse to pop. Now, if this wasn't the case, what I would have done was unplug all the injectors and the two cam actuators, put in a new fuse, and then plug in all the components and see which one pops the fuse. Oh, shit. See that? It's, it's not supposed to go under here. Somebody put it under there, so when you tighten this and you put your cover on... I haven't done nothing. nothing no? Nothing. Nobody touched it? No. Mm. I've had this car for five years. Not even the tuna. Nothing. Yeah, look. It has to go from the outside, right? Yeah, somebody put it in there. Oh, shit. See that? Right. So that's what's causing this to pop over there. Yeah, and this fuse, fuse 26, feeds the injectors, your fuel injectors, and the cam actuators on both sides. Yep. All right, we're going to fix that wiring, and then we'll put this one on there. Because the gas, the time, it's just, it's not worth it to me. It's just funny how there's tape here. Why is there tape right at the short? You can tell whoever worked on it before me, you know, it was not very professional person. I swear it's not correct like this, huh? No, it's not supposed to go through there. <coughs> But this conduit, see, it's just, it br it's brittle, and when you move it around a little bit, it just cracks, so. But this right here, eventually, it's gonna rub on the pump, yep. and it's gonna short out, and then you're gonna call me again. So definitely your number will be with Thank you, sir. Okay, all right, that's that. Let's throw another fuse on there, and I could take these off, and I think it'll start. Battery was dead. Right, there you go. This 15 amp fuse and good, didn't blow. Here goes the moment of truth. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
check engine lights still on. I'll take these. Recheck the codes. PCM. Enter. Read. Uh, two, oh, the same ones. Okay. So when I blew the fuse, I set those codes. We're going to clear everything. Yes. Okay. And let's do it again. Nice. No check engine light. We'll just do a complete smart scan again to, to make sure that everything is a-okay. Something in the ORC, BCM, CATN. Radio, no communication with the radio because don't have the stock radio anymore, but what's in the BCM? Last communication with radio. Last communication with radio. Last communication with radio. And let me guess. Front mode door one, travel range too small. Gotcha, Alright, that's it for this one. See you on the next one. I am Hector. You got your stuff? You got any money? You got your stuff? I got it close by. You got any money? I have a close by too. You got your stuff? Um, has it right here with me now? Stop fucking around, Hector.